The technical definition of multiplication is the mathematical operation of scaling one number by another. In simpler terms, multiplication is a mathematical operation where a number is added to itself a number of times. For example, 5 times 4 equals 20, or 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 equals 20. Some additional information about multiplication is that it is one of the four main mathematical operations. Memorizing your core facts will make using various multiplication algorithms seem much easier, and we use multiplication daily, sometimes without even knowing it. A few examples of times we use multiplication are when calculating tax on a grocery bill, when deciding what to tip a waiter or waitress at a restaurant, when figuring out how much you should be getting paid after a certain amount of hours at work, and when finding the area of an object. But why do we have to learn a new way? Here's why. Learning different methods of multiplication helps you prepare for your future in education. Not every teacher uses the same methods. It also allows you different avenues when problem solving. Different methods like the partial product algorithm challenge your critical thinking skills. Knowing a variety of methods helps you to be a well-rounded student. Most importantly, you'll be better prepared for the upcoming park assessments. Being a well-rounded student is important because it essentially helps you to be prepared for any type of academic situation that might occur. Partial product algorithm is a method of multiplication that focuses on the value of each digit in your factors. Let's stop all this talking and give one a try. The first step in partial product multiplication is to line up the numbers you're multiplying vertically. It also helps to have the numbers with the fewest digits at the bottom. I color coded my digits red for the hundreds place, blue for the tens place, and black for the ones place. Your next step would be to multiply the two digits in the ones column. In this particular example you'll be multiplying four times two which is eight. In traditional multiplication you would now multiply two times six and put the two in the tens place and carry the one. In partial product algorithm you still multiply two times six but you need to look at the digit in the tens place is six tens, which is equal to 60. So using partial product multiplication, you would multiply two times 60, which is equal to 120. Be sure to align your digits so they're easy to add at the end of the problem. Keep in mind the last step we just performed, and now look at the digit in the hundreds place. In this example, 164 has a 1 in the hundreds place, so 100. Using partial product multiplication, we're going to multiply 2 by 100, which is 200. Now that we've multiplied the 2 and 72 by all the digits in 164, we now need to multiply the digits by the 7. What we have to keep in mind is that the 7 is in the tens place, so it's equal to 70. Our first step would be 70 times 4, which is 280. Our next number is 6, but don't forget, our 6 is in the tens place, so it's now 60 times 70, which is 4,200. And our final step is 100 times 70. This gives us a final number of 7,000. Now notice I have everything lined up, so it'll be very easy for me to go ahead and add down at the bottom. Carry our 1.
And our final answer is 11,808.